President Bola Tinubu says he is ready to review the national minimum wage. The president expressed his commitment to prioritizing the welfare and security of Nigerians at a meeting with the governors of his party. And the president has also announced the first appointment of his administration, including Femi Bajabiamila as the chief of staff at State House correspondent Adiswa Omorua reports. Members of the Progressives Governors Forum, led by the chairman, Hope Zodima of Imo State, arrived at the presidential villa. It's the first official interaction with the president since he assumed office. The president reaffirms his commitment to uplifting the lives of Nigerians through a series of people-focused economic policies, beginning with the urgent review of the national minimum wage. We need to do some arithmetic and uh, so searching on the minimum wage. We will have to look at that. We are digging deep into the revenue of the federal government. We must strengthen the source and application of those funds. Where is it coming from? During the meeting, the president also addresses the contentious issue of petrol subsidy and the overall state of the economy. He acknowledges that governance is a continuous process and urges his party members to stand united as the majority in the National Assembly. I don't have dealership in petroleum products. And I don't intend to have one. Decisions that we have seen, and I thank you, for supporting, for encouraging all of this. It's one, I inherited and it is fundamental, inherit the asset and liability of my predecessor. Maybe get a committee to see the Senate president. So that if there are areas, I mean, of conflict of or inadequacies, they from there, collaborative leadership can straighten it out, can negotiate. While promising to run an open door policy, the president puts all speculations to rest by making his first set of appointments known to the visiting governors. I'm going to appoint Femi Gajabi Amira as the chief of staff. And I'm going to take, I announce George Akume as SGF. So if we take photograph, you like to smile, we smile. <laughs> After the meeting, the governors who expressed their support in the removal of petrol subsidy, however, condemned the sudden price hike in the product following the president's inaugural speech. From May 2019 to today, I'm not aware that any petroleum market has imported any product. All the products in their storage facilities are those already imported, subsidized by government. Why the rush to increase the prices? It is mass inhumanity to man. So I think that what we should do is to be our brother's keepers. As the administration takes shape, Nigerians hope for positive changes in their lives. In other news, President Tinubu has been hosting a series of guests at the presidential villa. The recent visitors include the governor of Oyo State, Shei Makinde, the immediate past governor of River State, Nyosom Wike, and the former governor of Delta State, James Ibori. The trio emerged after over two hours. Uh, yes, we discussed it. It's something that uh, uh, is uh, uh, you know, on top of the public uh, discourse right now. And uh, yeah, we, we know it's a tough decision uh, for the people and uh, it needs the support of everybody to see this through. Adesua, Omoruan, Arise News.